everybody. My name is Fluttershy9. Now, if you clicked on this from my DeviantArt page, then you might already know me as Fluttershy918. And if you hear metal on metal clinking in the background, then that's just my guinea pig drinking from her water thing. Now, Yes, I got a YouTube channel. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, and I finally got around to doing it. All right. So, yes, this is my YouTube informational video. In this, I'll explain to you about a little bit about myself and what you may expect on this channel and what team... Er, um, I'm sorry, sorry. It's just, I haven't really had much practice on this, so please excuse me if I stutter on my words a bit. Um, so yes, in this video I'll tell you about myself, what you can expect on this channel, and a little bit about what my arts may be about. Now, for starters, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a great artist, as you can see. I have a soft spot for animals. I'm a great singer. And I can do really good voice acting impressions. <clears throat> and also, many YouTubers don't reveal their full names. Well, I'm going to reveal my first name to you right now. I know that many YouTubers don't do that, but I'm not like many YouTubers. But don't expect anything else other than my first name. <clears throat> so anyway, my first name is Alex. As you may see in some of my arts, which is why I'm explaining it to you right now to like clear up some of the confusion. Now. What you may expect on this channel can be from art, music, I may do some animations, and I may or may not be doing comic dub readings or fanfic readings. I'm still kind of on the fence about that. Now, as for the final thing that's going to be talked about in this video, is that what my art may be about. Now, you may have seen in the description of some of my arts on DeviantArt that there's this group known as Team Sabuna. Well, Team Sabuna is the name of my exploration team back when I used to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, which is actually where my Pokesana and her partner slash boyfriend came from. I just kept using her ever since. She's a Charmander, and her boyfriend slash partner is a Turtwig. And now, just to clear something up, me and my Pokesana are not the same person. So if you see me or my Pokesana in the same picture, then you don't have to be confused because they are not the same person. And, on the screen right now, is a picture of my OC. It's in human form, because that's my main OC. My main OC is a human. And you'll see this in my art more often than not. And you'll only see a pony if I'm using a base, and I can't really do anything else about it. But other than that, you'll see this as my OC. My main OC. And yes, I am kind of a bass artist, but what's on the screen right now is one of my original arts, and I will be doing a lot more of that in the future. Also, 
Now, let me tell you a little bit about Team Sabuna. And, like, how you see characters from Five Nights at Freddy's, My Little Pony, Steven Universe, and other stuff like that. Well, ever since Team Sabuna was created, I kind of thought that maybe I should, like, add the characters from my favorite TV shows and video games and such into the team and kind of make them part of an alternate universe or something. And yes, I say alternate universe because there aren't really like the canon people versions, I mean. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, there's, I have an AU of Steven Universe, My Little Pony, Five Nights at Freddy's, Undertale, and a lot of other things. And what makes this an AU is that they have different powers. There's like more people in the games or the TV shows that I'm making the AU out of. And the AU versions are kind of like the canon versions of them, but a little bit different. They like have a different appearance and different powers. This includes the rainbow power and the cutie mark magic from My Little Pony. And they have these necklaces to show that, or different colors in their hair or their clothes. Like, as you can see on the screen, I have a blue necklace with my cutie mark in it. It's a rainbow music note with a heart and a heart paw print on it, showing that I'm great at art, I love animals, I love music, and I'm a very caring person. <clears throat> and you'll see that on my AU versions of the characters as well. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, I said I might stutter on my words a bit. I'm still kind of new to this. <coughs> anyway, so yes, my, that's, this is kind of what my channel is going to be about. Expect art, music, uh, some animations, and maybe comic dub readings or fanfic readings in the future. I'm still not too sure. Also, I am willing to do art trades and collabs, but I'll only say when I'm going to be doing those on my DeviantArt when I post a status update. I won't be doing art trades or collabs unless I'm either super bored or just uninspired. Which may be rare considering that I kind of have a lot of pictures already planned to paint for the, for the channel. <clears throat> also, um, also, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I guess there isn't an also. <laughs> anyway, so yes, this is what my channel is going to be about. Welcome to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Well, not more content like this, because this is just the introduction video. If you want to see more art, music, animations, and possibly some comic readings or fanfic readings in the future, then please give this video a like and feel free to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. And yes, that is everything that I would like to talk about. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Expect the first bee paint tomorrow. This is Fluttershy9, signing off.